In this video I'm going to show you how to use layer masks uh, with your photography works. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, this photo here uh, as an example and I'm going to use some of the adjustment layers as uh, every adjustment layer has a layer mask so I'm just going to go to layer, new adjustment layer and choose any of these and let's choose this one here, uh, hue saturation I'm just going to click OK. Okay, so when you double click here if you don't already have opened this uh, panel, you will see uh, the saturation here and by moving this cursor you can control the saturation of your photo. Okay, so I'm just going to increase it a little bit like this. Okay, and you will see that this uh, uh, layer, uh, uh, here we got the, this is the layer mask, okay. So the layer mask by default is white and when the layer mask is white it is the same as you don't have the layer mask. So if I just go to right click and delete layer mask you will see that nothing changes, okay. It's the same as you don't have the layer mask. So, uh, if I would fill this layer mask with a black color, so I'm just going to set black here, go to edit, fill, make sure that layer mask is selected, and just fill it with the foreground color, and click OK. Now, if I turn off and on the hue to saturation layer, you'll see that nothing uh, changes, uh, uh, because when the, uh, the layer mask works uh, on the way that, uh, on where you have brushed black, or when you, we got uh, where the layer mask is filled with a black color, uh, the layer is not shown on that places, and where, in, where on the places where the layer mask is filled with white, on that places your layer is visible. Okay, so I'll just get back to the white. So when you get the layer mask is white, uh, the the layer will affect the whole photo. So what you can, can you do is to pick a brush tool, just set foreground color to black, and I'm gonna use some soft brush. And now just some uh, brush over the areas where I don't wish that this layer uh, affects. Okay, so I'm just going to brush quickly like this. Okay, and if you hold the Alt for PC or Option for a Mac and just click on this layer mask here, we get uh, this, uh, uh, you will see how your mask looks. So on these black places, this layer is not visible, like it's removed, okay, so. And uh, in this case, we got adjustment layers, so on the places where you uh, where you got a black color, uh, the layer will not affect that areas. And on the place where you got the white color, color uh, the layer will affect that area. So I'm just gonna click Alt Option again here. Okay, so now if I turn off and on this adjustment layer, you'll see that we only affect this area that have brushed uh, that are brushed with the white into the layer mask okay and uh, what you can also do so if you wish to uh, uh, affect more areas here you can just set a foreground color to white and then just brush in the places uh, you'll see how the layer mask changes here so just brush through the places where you wish to be affected also uh, uh, by this adjustment layer so you see the difference now, and uh, when I now turn it off and down, you will see now it will affect the whole photo. Uh, this is also very useful. Uh, layer masks are very useful when you are uh, removing some parts of your photo because you can re uh, remove, remove it, and after you brush with the white into layer mask, you can get the back uh, dead layer in that place. Okay, so uh, Let's choose another layer, it's the same with the all adjustment layers, uh, so as I said they all have the layer mask by default. So let's just choose uh, exposure layer, okay, just click OK, okay, and if I just change, uh, just change the offset a little bit, something like this, you change this like this. Okay, uh, again you see it has a layer mask that's white by default and also if you just brush, uh, let's brush, uh, you can sometimes it's easier to just fill the layer mask with the black. Okay, just go to edit, fill, click OK and then just brush with the white colors on the places that you wish that the adjustment layer affect. this okay you can also use the layer mask with the filters so for example let's just so use some of the uh, gaussian blur okay 
and just click on this uh, little icon here that's a shortcut for adding a layer mask okay? and now if I just brush with the black here as you can see so the this layer will only affect uh, this background here okay everything uh, where you where I got the white color here that will be affected by this layer and on the place where I got the black color this layer will not be visible okay okay so I hope you understood everything and thanks for watching